It is a welterweight matchup between Tyron Woodley and Matt the Immortal Brown. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Brown is two years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding the professional record on. 23 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Matt the Immortal Brown. And now he's introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record on. 18 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyrone, the chosen one, one And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. So Mario Yamasaki, your third man in the octagon here tonight. There you go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Well, I'm not sure any fan base makes more noise than these Canadians. We are just about ready to go. Live action underway here at Air Canada Center in Toronto. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Oh, double jab. Nice jab, very snappy jab. He's mixing things up really well, too, from the hands to the kicks to switching stances. And now that jab starting to get established. As expected, an early shot, and it's good. Useful early takedown, no denying he wants this fight on the ground. He's working from half guard now. Oh, full mount. Punch there by the chosen one. He's in half guard here. And he reverses position. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He escapes the rear naked choke. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Oh, Joe, how good is that right hand? Now it moves into full guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Hard hook. Well, if that's not the best jab in the game, it's right up there continuing to land and keep his opponent at distance. Oh, huge right hand. He's got him hurt here. Big shots! He is getting off some huge punches here. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Brown. Under a minute now to go in round one. Brown gets caught with that punch. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He is showing. Whoa! Matt tagged him. Matt tagged him bad, dropped him. He's got him right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active oh! first round. Straight ahead. Oh, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down near the end of it. Saved by the bell. He will live to fight on. The question is for how long?
Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. All right, here we go with round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left oh. off. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Those guys land him big shots. These are some bombs he is throwing. Oh! Oh! Oh, very nice. Kick to the body, Lance Flush. Oh, big left. Well, Joey seems to hit. Oh! Oh! Back up. Body oh. kick it out. Oh, big left hand. He's stumbling. Oh! Oh, another body kick. Big shots. Superman punch lands. And now starting to snap off that chest. Oh, He's got him hurt here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He's moved into half guard again. He postures into place. Now he's back into full guard. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Going after an arm. He's controlling the forearm. Throws the other leg over the face. Look at this! Incredible! The amplitude slam to get him to the canvas. His opponent was working on an arm bar, and he beautifully lifted him up and got him to the canvas. Well done there. Now he's in full guard. Brown gets up. But he looks hurt here, Joe. I'm not sure he's recovered. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to Clean land. Clean punch. That cut looks bad. They could stop this fight. Switching stances here. He rocked him. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's clearly hurt. Big kick, but miss. All right, 45 seconds now to go oh, on the Oh, he's hurt again. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he got tagged oh. again. He's hurt. Oh. Matt Brown was extremely active with his strikes, and that is what led to his victory. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Joe landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Great angle here. Boom! And that's all she wrote. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Ladies Bruce Buffer with the Jeffrey official Mario decision. Nosaki is going to stop with this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal. So the immortal Matt Brown does it again. And I've got to think at this point, you've got to look far and wide to find his remaining doubters. That man is an absolute beast, and he comes up with another legacy-building win here tonight. Good for the Ohio native, Matt the Immortal Brown.